YouTube, Chuck's here. Just want to show you something. I got a um, Vax vacuum cleaner battery, which I want to have a quick look inside. And I got to the screws and they had the dreaded pin in the middle. Now, most people can pick up these from shops anywhere. These um, type of uh, torque heads. I think it's a T10, 40 mil. But they wouldn't fit into the hole. They do now. Now, the reason they fit into a hole is I've got a hacksaw and I've come straight across the middle thinking I'll do this and clean them up just the middle pin and that should let me get in to the spot and of course one will do it and the other one won't well it does do it it's just a bit harder this one than the other one okay Now this pack works, you're probably saying why you're ripping it apart, well the vacuum cleaner died, so oh, it was actually my own pack, so let's have a look inside and find a screwdriver to open her up. Okay, so they're clipped in at the end, clipped in that side. How many have we got in here? Looks like we've only got four vac batteries in these Vax vacuum cleaners. Now this BMS is usable. I will keep that for another job, maybe. It's a, um, what is it, 2S. And it comes with a clip. Of course, I'll get that out in a minute. And I'll probably have to desolder it because actually they come with five batteries. That's different. Never seen one with five batteries before. Must be a reason for it. Don't know why they've got five. They're all coming with Samsung 20Q, so they're about. Um, and they've glued them in, which is a prick of a thing. I glued them into the bottom so they wouldn't move. Good idea though, if you didn't want to get them wrecked. But they're a good battery. So I'll keep an eye out for these ones. You just have to recover them, I suppose. But yeah, everything else is fine. And my cat's coming this way at the moment. So I'll pull these apart and get back to you about a, what type of, um, how they're going. Look at this. We're having a look because there is only five batteries on here. So those two batteries are gonna make what? 8.4, another 8.4, and at the lowest, you know, they're gonna be under eight, eight volts. And then you've got a spare battery here to make up the 18 volts because the pack's 18 volts. They're cheap and nasty. I don't know why they didn't, well, I can understand why they didn't put another battery in, but they could have, I would suppose. But all the parts are there. They're all being marked. You can still read everything there. All, all the parts are pretty well intact. And you've got your um, microprocessor. You've got your um, charging unit here. And I'd say this is your discharge, one of your discharge units. And you've got B positive, B negative and it goes out through here so you got your p p plus and p minus and n not used okay anyway we'll keep going pulling it apart i had to take the cover off here and if you look there it looks like they've put a fuse in they might have put a fuse in or maybe that's just the way they've got it set up but it just looks a little bit different to every other cell that I've pulled apart. Maybe that's their attempt. Or maybe it isn't their attempt. 
Leave me a comment if you think that's an attempt or it's not a, an attempt at doing this. I'll finish pulling those apart and I'll put, give them through a test and see what happens. Okay, I've finally pulled it apart now. It's got two thermal sensors, one there, the one up here that was in between the batteries and this one was in between the packs as well. The ones on the board so that it didn't overheat. So double, I've given it a big thumbs up for the, uh, the double, double sensors. It's awesome, yeah. Now, that's about it for the moment. I'm gonna start testing these. I'd say they're gonna come up at about over two amps or 200 milliamps, as everyone calls it, but we'll have a go at it. So it's just a quick test at the moment. It's just started off. All the batteries were four volts. The resistance on that one was 128, but all the others were 30. And the one up the top is 24. So they were all about four volts. So they were balanced pretty well for a five volt system. So I'm gonna recommend VAX if you want a good vacuum cleaner. Now I had a little bit of a problem. My problem was um, mainly due to the contacts going into the VAX head, not producing the voltage to go down to the turbo head. But I'd had that vacuum cleaner for over a year or more, maybe two, and it has not missed a beat and my wife uses it every day. So I recommend VAX as a good vacuum cleaner system. Okay, well that's it for this video. If you wanna know what the, voltage, what the currents are at the end, I'd say they're about 2000, because they're a, a 20Q, um, get back to me. Okay, see ya. There you go, fellas. They were around about 2000 milliamp hours. So yeah, that's overnight. Please, if you enjoyed this or you got some benefit out of this video, please subscribe and like and ring that bell for me. Um, I need all the subscribers I can get and yeah, I've got other videos coming. I'm just playing with them. I've got one video that I've gone through and I'm not happy with the product. I'm looking at ways to fix it and I'm not gonna give it to you guys unless it's worth buying. I will put it up there if I think it's rubbish, um, just because I think that you guys shouldn't buy crap and waste your money on stuff. Um, I'll try and do that. Okay, catch you later. Bye-bye.